and welcome to your gold market update for today monday the 12th of september we hope you're all well and had a good weekend mike smith senior analyst at go markets here with your daily market wrap let's have a look at what's come across the news of course on friday we saw the u.s markets close strongly higher again and this meant that they were higher for the week however eyes are on u.s inflation data that will be released tomorrow that's going to be a key number in terms of whether this positive sentiment we've seen over the last seven days actually continues U.S. futures are trading higher in Asian trading. The Nasdaq up around about 0.7%. Asian indices are following that Friday's positive U.S. lead, although Chinese, Hong Kong and South Korean markets are closed today. ASX is up around three quarters of 1% at this stage in the trading day and equity futures in Europe are pointing to a strong open later. The US dollar index on that equity strength is continuing to drift downward from those 20 year highs we hit at the beginning of last week. It is slightly lower again in Asia. We're seeing the euro back to parity. Gold is trading in a $25 range above 1700 support and oil has paused just above that January low. We did get a little pickup on Thursday and Friday in the US, but we are seeing it lower again today. Copper's paused beneath that 360 resistance possibly. We are seeing some pausing in light of some caution because of that inflation data, but we are seeing the VIX drop to two week lows at around about 23 this morning. We did see a surprising jump in Bitcoin on Friday and other cryptos, of course. It's back above the 20,000 level and is up again today. Resistance is around about 22,500 and is worth keeping an eye on and maybe an opportunity for short term traders of course, to trade it up to that level if we get the buying pressure continuing. On the data front, very little out today, but we are seeing UK industrial manufacturing production numbers out, GDP numbers out of the UK also, and trade balance also due. So a big day for the GB pound perhaps, but really a lot of eyes, as we've already suggested, will be on those US inflation numbers that release tomorrow. We've also got German CPI tomorrow as well. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that are catching our eye this morning. It's worth, certainly worthwhile checking in on the Australian dollar USD. And you can see Friday's strong candle pushing us back up towards resistance at around about 68.50. Although we opened lower this morning, we are seeing some further buying coming in in Asia and taking us back up to that resistance level. If we just look at the 30 minute chart, you'll see how important this level could be. And we'd possibly suggest a confirmed change in sentiment if it breaks that 68.75 level. Uh, looking back on the daily chart, this could take us up around about, certainly in the first instance, to 69.50, maybe even up to 70 cents. Uh, so that's one to keep an eye on today, perhaps. On the ASX, we are interested in CWN Crown Resorts Limited, and you can see the price action today up towards that $13 has taken us up towards highs not seen since April 2021. If we bring this in a little closer, you'll see the strength of that move over $13. We've got a short term cross of the 10 and the 20 EMAs and a push higher from this looks very possible, maybe even in the medium term up to around about $15. One to watch, certainly. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.